Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. A man is arrested for shooting a drone out of the sky. The first private lunar lander is on its way to the moon. And AEA unveils 2018 year-end avionics market report. Welcome to your Wednesday edition of Airborne Unlimited. I'm Skylar Vanell. Our top story of the day, a Suffolk County, New York man was arrested on Saturday for shooting a drone out of the air in St. James. Members of Missing Angels Long Island is an organization that searches for missing pets, was using a Mavic 2 Zoom drone to search for a dog when the drone stopped responding around 4.45 p.m. The group used the drone's GPS to determine the exact location. But after an investigation, Gerard Chastain used a shotgun to fire three shots into the air from his yard, striking the drone. The 26-year-old was charged with criminal mischief and prohibited use of a weapon. He is set to appear in court. Under the federal aviation regulations, shooting at any aircraft, including drones, is a federal offense. The FAA has not responded if they will take action. When we come back, Cape Air and Mountain Air Cargo announce a new pilot pathway program as we take you around the patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Cape Air and Mountain Air Cargo announced a new pilot hiring pathway program. They allow pilots from both airlines to transition between the two companies in order to gain flight hours and experience. The program is designed to assist Mac and Cape Air in the selection, training, and growth of new hire pilots. And it provides a career pathway for selected candidates. NASA has renamed their Independent Verification and Validation Facility in honor of Katherine Johnson as a way to recognize the West Virginia native and NASA hidden figure for her career and contributions when racial segregation was prevalent throughout the southern United States. She broke through racial barriers to achieve success at NASA and helped pave the way for the diversity that currently extends across all levels of agency's workforce and leadership. Women in Aviation International's annual conference is right around the corner. The 30th annual event is inviting girls from ages 8 to 17 to learn about aviation and aerospace. Girls in Aviation Day Long Beach will be held on Saturday, March 16th at the Long Beach Convention Center, and the fun begins at 9 a.m. Hartzell Engine Technologies has named Aero Recipe as the first Canadian-based shop in the company's recommended service facility network. They join quality aircraft accessories of Tulsa as the only RSFs for Aeroforce turbocharger systems. The program was introduced back in 2014. Aircraft owner operators who fly with HET equipment, they have a pre-approved network of shops which has the training tools and commitment to quality for repair and overhaul services. And that wraps up today's trip around the patch. When we come back, the first private lunar lander is on its way to the moon and AEA releases 2018 market report. The dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. 
The first private lunar lander has been launched on its mission to the moon. ANN reporter Sophie Herlock has the story. On Friday, the nonprofit group Spacel launched their spacecraft called Bereshit, which means in the beginning. It was boosted into space by a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. If it reaches their destination, Israel will join a small group of nations to put a spacecraft on the moon. Bereshit will spend the next couple of months in an expanding orbit around the Earth before the gravity of the moon pulls it into a lunar orbit. If everything goes as planned, it will land on the moon's northern hemisphere in April. And our final story of the day. Aircraft Electronics Association released their 2018 year-end avionics market report last week. 57% of sales came from the retrofit market, while forward-fit sales were 43%. Sales volume in North America was 78% and 22% was in other international markets. AEA President Paula Dirks said the industry has recorded the largest dollar amount of year-end avionics sales since the reporting process began back in 2012. This is the eighth straight quarter of positive year-over-year -year sales growth since 2016. And that wraps up our show for today. For real-time 24-7 news, go to aero-news.net. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back on Friday for more Airborne Unlimited.